big winner. Um, we're, he's still trying to make some decisions on what he wants to do. He's obviously out this weekend and been out for a while. Um, you know, so he's wrestling with, you know, do you try to do some rehab or go right to surgery or, or what? So, I mean, I, I don't think it's real promising right now. I mean, that's, that's the, the truth. And, um, you know, whether he's going to make a decision the next two days, I know he's going to meet with the doctors on Saturday. Probably by next week, we'll know exactly you know, whether he'll be back this year or not or, or try to come back. It's, it's, it's obviously disappointing. I feel more bad for him than even our team because uh, you know, two years ago, he went through a, a very difficult injury and, and missed a year of hockey. And he looked like he was just starting to hit his stride and playing. He started to elevate his game. Uh, and uh, he obviously played well last weekend. And, you know, it's, it's a hit. There's no question it's a hit. What is it, his knee? Um, it's a lower body injury. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it's like a wild. Yeah, well, you know what? I mean, we got the privacy laws. You have to talk to him. Okay. I, I have the liberty to exactly say some of those things. So. Should have brought him along. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know if he wants to be seen right now. <laughs> no, definitely not on camera, right? Yeah. So, so you know, so we have to deal with that. I just found out that uh, Jake Parento's got mono. So I, oh, I just found that out 20 minutes ago. So. Between mono and mopeds, we got eaten up by uh, non hockey related injuries. But you know what? That's why we had uh, you know, as many players as we did to start the year, and you think we have a lot of guys, and all of a sudden we've got seven defensemen, 13 forwards again.